So in this example we want to find all of the unknown uh, voltages and currents. Uh, we've got um, the current coming out of the, the first supply up the top here as 1.2 amps and we've got a current uh, going out of the node just here as 0.5 amps so the only unknown current is this one in here um, and that should be uh, because all the current going into a node equals all the current going out of a node so 0 0.5 uh, from there plus whatever has gone uh, down in the unknown has to add up to the 1.2 amps so 1.2 minus 0 0.5 equals our unknown current which is 0 0.7 amps so that's nice and easy uh, to find 0 0.7 amps there um, to find all the unknown voltages, uh, what we're going to do is find all the voltages across each of the resistors as well as the voltage here, the unknown supply voltage. And uh, we're going to use Kirchhoff's laws to do that. We use Kirchhoff's current law to find the current. And just to recap what that is, that's the sum of the currents at a node equals zero. That means all the currents going in would be positive and all the currents coming out would be negative. So in the example we've got, we've got 1.2 as the positive and then we've got adding two negatives, zero, negative 0 0.7 and negative 0 0.5. We're just taking away those values. It's more of a common sense way to think about it, but if we're being very precise with our uh, mathematical expressions we'll talk about in terms of positive and negative. And um, as I was saying, we're going to use Kirchhoff's voltage law to um, consider the voltages in a loop and uh, if we take the loop uh, from we'll call that point A, point B, point C, point D so we're going to have to shortly calculate uh, perform a voltage um, calculation um, using the uh, an equation form from this loop uh, but in any case, there's actually, we can find out the voltage across the 6 ohm resistor just from Ohm's law, because V equals I times R across the 6 ohm resistor. We've got 0 0.7 amps, and we've got a resistance of 6 ohms, so that just gives us 4.2 volts. So that's another unknown. Um, now we're just left with that loop up the top. <coughs> we could actually find the voltage across the 3 ohm resistor. Um, by doing the same thing, uh, V equals I times R, because we know the current is 0 0.5 amps, and we know the resistance is 3 ohms, that gives us 1.5 volts. That's quite helpful too. In fact, we can do the same thing on our last um, 10 ohm resistor there. We can do V equals I R for there. Um, I is 1.2 amps, and the resistance is 10 ohms, gives us uh, 12 volts. Now this may seem a little bit strange since the supply is 12 volts but remember we've got the second supply here which is going to confuse our natural kind of perception of what's going on in the circuit. So that gives us the voltages across everything. The only thing remaining is the voltage of the supply. So now we get onto Kirchhoff's voltage law uh, to work out that one. So we're going to do the sum of the voltages equaling zero uh, in the loop A, B, C, D, A. So it starts with A and finishes with A, so that we're going uh, at the start and finishing at the same place that we begin. Uh, let's just move that up just a little bit. I'm sure you can remember those couple of values. So uh, we're going to start at A, moving around uh, in that direction. But again, starting at A. So from A to B, we've got the voltage drop across the 10 ohm resistor, which remember was 12 volts, so it's going to be minus 12, because it's a voltage drop, remember. If we're talking about uh, uh, making a rule for this that you might like to memorize, um, you in the direction that the current is going as it passes through a resistor, that's a negative. Okay, And as it's going through a, a power supply uh, in the direction that the current flows, it becomes a positive, so you add that to the loop. But anyway, you'll see that as an example. The first one, we've got the current passing through a resistor. There's a loss of energy um, converted to not really a loss. If we're being precise with our language, which we should be, there is energy converted to heat in that resistor. And that energy is lost to the circuit as it becomes ambient temperature 
Anyway, minus 12. The next next uh, section has 2 from B to C. We're going in the direction of the current from the negative to the positive of the battery. So that is an increase of voltage. So we plus Vs. The next section across the 3 ohm resistor, we calculated the voltage drop. Remember, because it's in the direction the current's flowing, um, as uh, 1.5. And then the last uh, section, well, not quite the last section, from C to D there is nothing, so we can leave that blank. And then from D to A, we're going from the negative to the positive of this 12-volt uh, supply, so that will be plus 12. And all of that equals zero, because that's what our voltage law says. And it makes sense, the energy potential should be the same when you get back to the same spot on the circuit. That means the electrons uh, have the same... Uh, potential energy. They're pushed with the same amount. Uh, each of them is at that point in the circuit. Anyway, we've got one unknown in this. We can rearrange it and we will find out that um, Vs equals 1.5 volts. And that's not unexpected. Not un unexpected because um, we lost 12 across the 10 ohm resistor. That leaves just the 3 ohm in parallel. Uh, <coughs> But you do have to remember that with uh, multiple power supplies in a circuit, it's very hard to be uh, intuitive in your answers. Your answers won't make the most sense, so don't don't rely on them, otherwise you'll freak out. Well, maybe you won't freak out, but don't rely on them anyway, because they can be misleading. Trust your uh, voltage law and your current law, and just work through the steps.